we are going to see method of sections example number two in the previous example we have seen how to solve a truss or a given example of truss and to find out forces in few selected members now in this example you can see that i have written determine forces in members ce and cf by method of sections now you can see that as in the previous example i'm having ce and cf i can draw a section plane such that i'm cutting three members bf as well i need to cut the truss in complete two parts i cannot cut a part of the truss and say that i have taken a section i need to divide the truss into two different parts so if i draw a section plane over here i'm dividing the truss into two parts so i will show one section plane okay now what i need to do as usual first thing that we'll be doing is we'll find out the stability criteria for the truss then we will move on to finding out the reactions and then we are supposed to use method of sections to find out the forces in members ce and cf We will count the number of members. The number of reactions will be 3 because we have a hinge support and a roller support. I can see that my right hand side is equal to 12 which is nothing but same as number of members that is 12 and I can say that this is a perfect truss. Now the next step that we do is we need to find out the support reactions. At A you can see that I have a roller support so I will be having one single reaction which is perpendicular to the surface so in this case it will be a horizontal reaction. I will call it as HA. For hinge support I have two reactions one is horizontal and one is vertical one will be HB and the other will be VB. Now, what I need to do is, I need to apply the conditions of equilibrium and find out the support reactions. Now, if you look in the figure, I have two horizontal reactions, HA and HB, and only one horizontal force, that is the 5 kN force. Now, we will look at the vertical reactions. I have only one vertical reaction at B, that is VB, but I am having three vertical forces. 10 kN force acting at D, another 10 kN force acting and acting at F, and one more at G. Now, to find out the horizontal reactions HA and HB, I'll have to take moment about any one point, be it A or B. So, if I am taking moment about A, I have written moment about A over here, 
So what I'll be doing is I'll take moment about A and in that case the 10 kilo Newton force all these 10 kilo Newton forces will be creating a clockwise moment so that would be negative sign for me then the 5 kilo Newton force even that is creating a clockwise moment so another negative sign whereas the HV the reaction force is again a clockwise moment for me so even that will be negative. So the assumption that I have done for HB acting towards right happens to be wrong. I need to make it acting towards left. Now, once I have got this, I'll put up this value in the equation of Fx equal to zero. So, in this case, my assumption of HA acting towards right is correct because the answer that I am getting is positive. Now, I have calculated the support reactions. I have checked for the stability as well. Now, the next step that I need to do is I need to find out the forces in the selected members. The selected members being CE and CF. Now, if you look at this truss, the right hand side of the truss seems to be easier for calculations because that is a smaller part. So what I'll be doing is I'll take the right hand side part of the truss and I'll redraw that structure. Okay, students, now you can see that what I've done is I've drawn the right side part of the truss. That is only this side. Now, what I've done is for member CE, I'm calling it as F1, CF, I'm calling it as F2. I have done one more force, unknown force, which I'm cutting over here, DF as F3. Because when I'll be solving for this side, this force is going to have some effect on this FD as well. So I have to find out that force also or I need to consider during the calculations. If I do that, then only I'll be getting the correct answer. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll take moment about F first. If I take moment about F, in that case, I'm making this F2 and F3 come moment as zero. Now you can see that the force in F1 is coming out as 12.5 kN and that is a tensile force. Now to move on to the next joint, if I take moment about F, in that case, sorry, if I take moment about E, I need to cal do the calculations for this force as well, that is F3. Suppose if I take moment about G, what happens in that case? I'm making the moment of this force, the FD force that is F3 as 0. So I'll be having only the sine component of the force F2, not the cos component because even that force is going to pass through the moment center and any force passing through the moment center, the moment of that force will be 0. Now what I need to do is I need to find out this angle over here. To find out this angle, I need the sides, the opposite side as well as the adjacent side. Opposite side is this, that is 4 meters and this is 3 meters. So I need to find out this angle theta.
okay now what i'll do is i'll take moment about point g when i'm taking moment about point g i'm making the moment of this force f3 as zero which anyways i don't want to find out so i can find out only the force in f2 Now I have written the equation for moment about G. When I am taking moment about G, the F1 force is creating a clock anti-clockwise moment, so that would be positive. This force is creating a clockwise moment, so that will be negative. When I am taking moment about G, this force is creating a anti-clockwise moment, so that should be positive. Then same way, the sine component of F2, that is this is going to create a clockwise moment so that will be negative over here So the value for F2 I'm getting is as 25 kilo newtons and that is a positive value. Now what I need to do is I need to tabulate the result. So now you can see that I have got the values for the selected members in the truss that is member F, uh, sorry, the member CE and CF. Both the natures for both the members is tensile force. I hope that you have got this sum very easily. Method of sections is an easy example to solve and it is less time consuming as compared to method of joints. Thank you.